Hey, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at Gala. I do want to say that I'm not a financial advisor. You should do your own research before investing money into crypto. And if you haven't seen the previous update, make sure to watch that before watching this one. It's going to be linked in the top right hand corner of the screen. Now let's jump straight into the TA. Taking a look at the daily chart, as you can see, we do have a massive Fibonacci retracement over here from the high in January 2023 down to the low in January 2023. So it only took us a month to print this massive wave to the upside. Uh, we managed to secure, if I may pull up the ruler here for a second, 307% to the upside. And since that local high, we're down approximately 71.5%, which is a pretty good pullback. You might start accumulating at these current prices. We're very close to the bear market low, which is uh, sitting at uh, one and a half cents, basically. We were targeting this lower purple support block from 0.01841 down to 0.0161, and we finally reached that level. We did have a quick wick back in June, but we did come back down here and we are filling up this wick with candles, which is typically what happens when you have these flash crashes. You print a large wick and then you start retracing to the upside briefly, and then you start pulling back down and you start filling up this wick with candles, which are what, it, which is exactly what you're doing over here, and I would look into some, uh, you know, buy limit orders at these prices here. We're sitting at very good prices. If you've been waiting for an for a good entry point into Gala, this is the time. Now, if you take a look historically at where we've been, so back in November 2021, we peaked at approximately 85 cents, and since that peak, let me see. Uh, we are down approximately 97%. So definitely a good buying opportunity finally. Uh, there is a bit of FUD going on with Gala, obviously. I'm not you know, invested into the project. I don't follow the news that closely, but there were some token migrations and uh, people were really upset about that. So a lot of people started exiting. But if you're bullish on the project, you don't care about all the FUD, this is the time to be entering. Now we perfectly uh, went back into this uh, block back tested it as resistance a few times and we are on our way down everything's looking great for this downtrend we are printing lower lows and lower highs on a constant basis and at some point we do have to reverse obviously uh, the support level the immediate support down below I would be looking at is obviously this bear market bottom at 0 0.0161 because if we drop below that, that's going to be bad news. We're potentially going to be looking at 0 0.01138 cents, uh, which is still on the table. We don't know how low Bitcoin is going to go. I'm thinking 24,000 approximately, 24 and a half. If things go well, if not, we could be looking at 20 to $22,000 now. A 40% pullback would take us down to the minimal target here to the downside, which is the 1.272 Fibonacci. And obviously the technical target would be down here at 0 0.20727, but I don't think we're going to be going that low. But keep an eye on these levels, guys. If you want to set up another Fibonacci retracement, you can do that easily. So you take a Fib from the local high here that we printed back in July, and you take the low. Now you can take the wick here if you want to, uh, but I would just take the candle here, the June low, and you can see that we're looking at 0 0.01784 as the 1.618 target. And look how perfectly this wick came down to that um, 1.618. Let me just remove all of this noise from the background just so you can clearly see this picture. So this is the fib, and let me just set it up perfectly there so it works all nicely. So yeah, the 1.618 almost got to the, or the wick got to the 1.618, almost got there. So 0.01773 is going to be our technical target. And I do think we're going to be coming back down and we're going to be filling up this smaller wick, just like we're filling up this wick over here. And uh, it's going to take some time, probably we're not going to do all of this instantly, but uh, you can target that level and anything within the realms of this lower support block is good to buy, in my opinion, not a financial advice, of course. So once again, 0 0.01841 down to 0 0.01618, great buying opportunity. If we dip lower, we'll 
react to that afterwards. We do have a few levels down here, like I said, that we can target. So taking a look at the daily RSI, let's see what's going on here. We have a major resistance and support trend lines here that we are adhering to. So if you're looking to buy some gala at a pullback and a major pullback, eyeball this green trend line. We've been retesting it since December last year. And we also have a massive resistance above us that we've been retesting for a few times in 2023. So maybe we do head back up to that level and have another uh, lower high and then we head back down. So if you're looking for a swing trade, that could be your uh, that could be your perfect spot to take profits. Or if you're just entering to sell at some point, just a short term trade, that's also something that you can look at. Maybe we're looking at a nice impulsive move to the upside in September. Who knows? Usually September has some sort of a move to the upside for altcoins. Not always, but that's something that's been happening in the past few years. Uh, it is possible that this July local high was the uh, bull trap and now we're headed back down. I'm totally fine with that because I wasn't really looking to swing trade a lot, to be honest with you. I'm looking to accumulate as many tokens as possible, but I'm talking about tokens in general for altcoins. I don't have any gala, full transparency, guys, and I do want to switch over to the weekly chart. And before we continue with the video, I quickly want to mention my Patreon that's linked down below in the description. If you enjoy my content, you want to get more exclusive content, and you want to support me at the same time, definitely feel free to check out the Patreon because you're going to get a 7-day free access on my Patreon and an instant access to all of my content since October 2021, which is when I started. You'll get access to content like exclusive weekly podcasts, and we're starting to invite guests already. We have 40 plus low cap gem posts we have a bunch of project uh, reviews we have a bunch of resources that are going to help you save time and make more money with this upcoming bull market so this is definitely a great exchange of value for the both of us and once again there's a seven day free trial feel free to check it out you can leave any time and let's continue with the video Taking a look at the weekly chart, as you can see, we have a Fibonacci retracement here from the December low up to the November 2021 high, and we have our minimal target at $1.98, which I think we can target for the bull market. But if we start losing this local low in December and we go even lower, then the Fibonacci retracement is obviously invalidated. So I'm going to remove it just for the time being until we can you know, see what happens with the charts here. And if we end up losing this December 2022 low, we can always target the bottom here of this June 2021 low at 0 0.0743 cents. That's going to be your ultimate bottom. If we are going to be pulling back lower, that's, you know, where I want to go. I don't want to go any lower than that because in that case, you know, it's just going to be a cascade of selling because we did have a massive move to the upside here in uh, January 2021. And since then, we haven't really looked back. So the chart looks healthy, to be honest with you. If we keep, you know, if we hold this low, if we lose the June 2021 low, then we are pretty much um, doomed to at least come back down lower and retest some of these resistance level here for, for quite a while, because that's what happens with all, with all of these altcoins. And some of them are even below their March 2020 low, believe it or not. But for Gala, like we're looking pretty good. I'm even surprised. But what is not good is the fact that we're losing this massive multi-month resistance or even multi-year support. So we had this bounce in June 2021. We had another bounce in December 2022, another bounce in June 2023. And right now we're pulling back down below the support trend line. So I'm hoping this is a quick fake out. We bounce off the 0 point. Uh, 1633 and then we get back into the uh, into this pattern that we have here on the on on our hands but that is you know wishful thinking we don't know if that's going to happen so you have to be ready for both outcomes at all times and uh, you want to be with a position at this price here you want to enter here if you continue dropping you can just buy more tokens right that's what you do if you're bullish on a project but if we do bounce off of this price here you've entered and now you can secure some profits. That's the way you should be ready uh, to play both hands at any given time. Now, taking a look at the weekly RSI, you can see we're dropping below the support here as well. We're mirroring the price action chart, which is, uh, you know, 
We were expecting a breakout here, to be honest with you, with the RSI and with the price action. It was looking good for a breakout into August and September, and I, I was thinking we might retest 8 to 11.5 cents. Unfortunately, that did not happen, but hey, the prices are low, so now you have the opportunity to get into, into Gala if you still haven't done that. But we're waiting for another back test of support here, so we do have a level at 34.4 on the index and that's going to be our immediate support here on the RSI so look for some entries around that area if the RSI uh, moving average comes down that low the stochastic is already sitting in the oversold so that's a pretty good indicator telling us that we might be entering or we might have a nice entry at these levels here and usually when we come down to these uh, previous lows, there is a good chance we might have a short-term bounce because there's a lot of people waiting to buy at those exact prices. Now, taking a look at the MACD, we are uh, printing some sort of a cross here, or really not even printing a cross. If you take a look, they're really just very tight together and it looks like we're going to be getting a bearish cro cross after all because this is a lagging indicator and it takes time for these crosses to play out but when the cross occurs that really gives you a confirmation of the um you know of the continuation of the current trend so we are in a downtrend right now we get the bearish cross a few weeks in or a few months in and that's going to be uh, kind of where you're bottoming out. Usually when you get the bearish cross and you start getting uh, the red histograms is when you're around the bottom. So we'll see what happens with Gala. Feel free to set up some buy limit orders. Let me know what are your thoughts on the project. We're not going to throw out any crazy numbers for the bull market yet because we don't have a a bottom for this bear market right we do have this december bottom but we don't know if that is the actual bottom so until that happens we're just going to be reacting to what the markets give us and we'll be accumulating as, as much as we can and yeah that's just the way we roll on this channel thank you all for watching stay safe and have a great day